Hello again everyone, Chris here with yet another Xbox video. This time I'm going to be removing the clock capacitor in this Xbox. The reason behind this is a well documented phenomenon where the clock capacitors generally fail, leaking acid on the motherboard and potentially ruining the Xbox itself. This is a very easy mod, the only thing it requires is me to open up the system once again, remove the hard drive and optical disc since the clock capacitor lives right about in this region, and actually pry the thing out. After that, the Xbox won't keep uh, time anymore after power failure, but that's not much of an issue considering the capacitors, you know, it seems to be drawing out. It only keeps time for maybe 30 minutes after it's unplugged, and after that it'll ask for the time to be reset anyway if you boot into the MS Dash. Um, mine, however, boots into Unleash X, which has been updated finally. I was running version 0.38, now I'm running uh, 0.39, which actually syncs to time servers correctly. So I no longer have to really be concerned about the annoyance of resetting the clock if the uh, clock capacitor fails, because. I'm about to rip it out and the thing's going to reset the time anyway, so everything's good. I'll go on and open this puppy up and we will rip that capacitor out. There we go, we got her open and this is the capacitor in question. Wow, that's bright. C7G10 is what it says on the motherboard, you can see down there. Um, this is the clock capacitor that leaks. It's located in the bottom left of the motherboard, let me zoom out and show you. There's its general location on the motherboard. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take these little pliers and we're just going to go on and remove this guy. Just rock it back and forth. This is the only time I would ever want to do this. And that's not a pleasant sound that it just made. Switch to a different angle so you can get a slightly better view. You can actually hear it start to break as I twist. Not a pleasant sound. Cap would definitely have technically failed at this point. So there's no going back. It's really just a tedious process of wiggling it trying to get out of here and not break anything else Do I have snippers? I just want to go on and snip it there we go can I just get in under here? no, no I can't The video I watched online on doing this is a lot better. There we go. There we go. There we go. And there we go. It definitely leaked as I pulled it out. Now it looks like you can see the reflection right there of a little bit of acid they got out so let me go grab something and clean this up real quick. There we go, cleaned it off. That is an extremely unique smell that that capacitor has. I've blown them in some cases intentionally in an electronic shop one time just for the fun of it. They make a very interesting smell and uh, that one very citrusy, kind of pleasant smell, actually. But there we go. It looks like everything is clear. I am certainly hoping that was the correct capacitor. I'm 99% sure it was. But, uh, yeah, we'll take a look-see at it. Alright, we have the Xbox hooked up. I just don't have the top of the case on in case I need to go back in and adjust something or fix something in there. Let's go on and power up and see what happens. Looks like it's working fine, and I noticed that it hasn't come up with the rainbow effect on the LED. There it goes. That little rainbow effect down there when the uh, battery, or when the clock capacitor has a uh, lost time, indicating that it needs to be reset. Now, it currently says it's 
you know, 2007, and boom, you saw it right there. It updated itself, so excellent. Looks like everything is good, and I did the mod correctly. That's awesome. Now, if we go into the MS Dash, let me go on and pan this out. Sorry for the camera being at a slightly low angle. You go on into settings and go into clock, and it set itself fine and dandy. So, looks like we're good to go. I just wanted to show one more time the dash automatically setting the clock. So we boot the Xbox, and I am zoomed in to where the dash will show. It may not focus very well, but I'm zoomed into that part of the screen. You can see the reflection of my bookcases in the back. There's the rainbow effect. I just unplugged it. Now you see the time is 6, 11, 6, 12, and after a second, boom, it automatically resets the time. So, perfect. I have no issues at all. This mod was a complete success. And I've got an Xbox that should last a good long while. Good 320 gig hard drive in it. Power supply is working fine. Everything's awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll catch everyone next time. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click on one of the annotation links for another original Xbox hardware video.